Hey, what's up guys? All right, uh, real quick, I just wanted to go over briefly how to use iMessage. I had a few people ask me, where is iMessage? I installed iOS 5 and I can't find iMessage anywhere. Well, uh, as well as the iPad users may notice, you have now you have this little I'm uh, this little message icon here um, on your iPad. But on an iPhone, uh, there's nothing that indicates anything about uh, about iMessage. Hold on, let me get rid of this FedEx tracking. On uh, on your iPhone here, you just have the uh, the regular you know messages uh, icon here, which I mean is you know for anything is pretty standard for your iPhone to have. But on your iPad, you didn't have this messages icon before, so uh, that's new. But I'll show you how to use the two together. Uh, it's pretty cool, actually. Um, the only thing is with uh, with iMessage for iPad and for iPhone, the way you iMessage people is either by the phone number, which would be connected to said iPhone, or their uh, email address or Apple ID that's connected to their iPad. Uh, so what you have to do, first you have to go into settings, and uh, let me just zoom in here a little bit, kind of pan around for you. Um, what you got to do here is go into settings, and <clears throat> then we're going to go down to messages right there. Click on messages, and you just want to make sure that uh, that right here. Oh, let me let me get this closer here. Right here, where it says iMessage at the top, you want to make sure that's turned on right there. So uh, make sure that's on, and then you'll be good to go to have it all set up uh, to use iMessage. Same with the iPhone. Um, if you have your iPhone here, what you want to do, let me see here, uh, settings, sorry for that light glare, uh, go to, go down to messages, same thing, messages, and make sure iMessage is turned on. And then it, you know, lets you know iMessages can be sent between iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch. Uh, so it's pretty cool actually because if you think about it, uh, it's a lot, people are trying to compare this to BBM, um, but honestly, I think it's much, much better than BBM because, um, well, if, first off, Blackberries didn't have uh, iPod Touches or, or MP3 players or whatever. I guess they have their playbook now um, or whatever. I don't even know if that's the, is that Blackberry? Anyways, uh, so what you're going to want to do now, okay, this is on the iPad here and I'm going to go into messages alright so new message um, I'm gonna type two what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to type um, I'm gonna type my Apple ID hey and I'm gonna send it so I just sent that now pretty soon we should see this pop up Yep, see, there you go. Dom at MacMixing.com says, hey. So I just basically, I sent myself a message. Um, and if you guys want to chat with me, um, go ahead and iMessage me, Dom at MacMixing.com. So all you have to do, now watch, I'm going to open this up and pull down my little notification bar. Very handy, huh? Go to the message, and here we go. So you see here, this looks like a standard text message um, for the most part. Everything's the same as a standard text message. One thing you'll notice is different though. Watch when I type this. I'm gonna type hey, I'm gonna send it. First thing you may notice is the send button in I'm, for iMessage is actually blue. So that's how you can distinguish whether or not it's a text or an iMessage is these bubbles, the message bubbles are blue and the button is blue. For a text message, uh, both of those are actually green. So Hopefully that'll help you distinguish between the uh, the two, the iMessage and the standard text message. So um, just make sure you're looking at that. But yeah, like I said, um, you just enter either a phone number or an email address, and it's got to be the person's Apple ID email address. Now you might be wondering if you signed up for your Apple ID, but that's not really like an email address that anybody knows or anybody uses. Like uh, in my case, actually. Um, I have a, an email address with Gmail, but not a lot of people use it. Not a lot of people know what it is. Uh, so let's check this out. Hold on. If we go into settings here, let me back out. Go into settings. Uh, what you can actually do here is you can change the email address that you receive uh, iMessages at. 
and you can add new email address and see if you see receive at right here if you click on that it'll let you add another email so I have Dom at MacMixing.com then I have my other Gmail um, you can click add email and it'll let you add the email and then if you go to caller ID it'll let you choose which one of those emails uh, it shows people when you send an iMessage which is very helpful because I really just want people sending stuff to my Dom at MacMixing.com so that's pretty cool how that works and then and then you know once you type it in here and stuff in iMessage let me get this in focus again once you type this in an iMessage you'll be able to see that your friends will actually get a message from the one you set as a caller ID so that's how you use iMessage there's no special app for it you guys it's just integrated within the standard messaging app um, within the standard messages app obviously on iPad when you iPad users you didn't have a messaging app before so um, that's where that would be on there but on iPhone it's just integrated in your standard messages app which is found you know right there we're on the desktop or wherever you put it I don't know why I called it a desktop I guess it's a desktop but so that's how you use iMessage uh, you can either send messages to phone numbers for iPhones or you can use uh, the Apple IDs uh, email address and that works the same with FaceTime too uh, like you see in here uh, this is my iMessage I can actually FaceTime my iPad right now straight from the iMessage or I can email it or I can add a contact obviously but remember iMessage blue text message green like watch I'll back out and go to a text message real quick there's one from my brother send see the send buttons green and the text messages are green I messaged their blue so that's how you can distinguish the two uh, I hope this was helpful guys thanks for supporting me please click the subscribe button right there check out the website dom at macmixing.com thanks again talk to you guys soon